So today is January 15th, 2015. I've been recording myself for a while, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to post this. Not post it amongst my people that know me so they would think that I was a certified <laughs> lunatic, but just post it out there just to document my progression. I'm 38 years old and I just am feeling so complacent. And I go through this phase every so often. Normally when I go through this phase, I will transfer schools, this is a long time ago, transfer schools or move or do something different, dramatic with my hair. Well, I still may do that, but do something. And I can't do that now because I am, as I said, 30 years old. I have a family. I have a career, which maybe I'll change. But as it stands now, I have bills to pay and I have a career. So I can't do that. So what I've decided to do is just reset things, like reset my life. Over the years, my handwriting has gotten so sloppy. So every night I've been practicing my handwriting and it, it improves really fast. I type horrible. And I dare to say this, I've been typing in corporate America for at least 20 years. And I don't, don't type correctly. And in my defense, the reason why is because when I was 12 years old, we bought this stupid typing tutor and I had to have the highest score amongst everyone in my, my family, in my household. So I didn't want to do it correctly. So I started pecking and I learned that if I peck, I can get like the high score. No one could beat my high score. Well, that's what you get, Catherine. So now I naturally go back to the pecking motion, which is so embarrassing. So I'm practicing typing, which Believe it or not, it's easy to type, but it's hard to read correct things that you've been doing incorrectly for 20 years. So anyone that is watching, I don't see anyone watching this for me. But if anyone happens to watch this and has gotten this far, create habits that are correct. Don't go back in your life and try and correct mistakes because it's harder. I have been complaining about my weight for so long and... I'm going, I'm, my natural weight is probably 125, I would like to be 118, I'm 5'5", five five, and I'm 20 pounds over my weight. That is ridiculous. So, I'm already started. I don't eat meat, but I eat all carbs. I eat carbs and junk food and cheese and butter and sweets. I'm cutting that out. I'm eating better. I like vegetables. I like fruit. There's no fat in that. I'm eating my protein, uh, quinoa and nuts and all that's protein's tough for me, but I have to do it. Um, I am not the neatest person in the world. I have really, I've been focusing, focusing on that for probably the past year, but now I'm really getting organized. I'm organized now. I've been writing my to-do list out every night. I am reading more, reading out of my comfort zone. I'm experiencing things. So you get the gist of it. I can ramble on and on. But I think what I'm going to do is just document. I'm, I'm striving for perfection. And I think it is better to hold me accountable that I document it. I think I like the way this is going. Now, I realize I'm doing this only for myself and no one else is watching. However, if someone is watching and you have something you're struggling with and want to improve or just want to share your world, I would love to hear about it or join me. Let's start a movement. <laughs> okay, so I'll ramble again tomorrow. God, I hope nobody I know sees this. I'll ramble again tomorrow. Yes, you will, Catherine. Okay.